Oh, well, good morning. Man, we're starting off with a crew. <laughs> Not able to talk. Cool, crisp day. Uh, mid 50s, perfect t shirt weather. But uh, we're not pumping this morning. We're going to tackle this uh, 38 meter. I'm showing some signs that some wear parts need to be changed out. Uh, we've had a hard time getting primed out the last couple of days. So I, that to me, that's telling me that my cutting ring may be leaking some grout out. So, and we water tested yesterday. It'll be still, and y'all tell me, it'll still pull a sponge back. Uh, we pulled a sponge back a handful of times yesterday, and so, but just had a hard time getting primed out the last couple of days, so it's, it's, it's really concerning to me and scared me, so, uh, the best thing I know to do is start with the wear parts, uh, your cutting ring and your pressure spring, make sure that's all acting right, so we're going to put a new, new cutting ring, new pressure spring, we're going to check the, we're going to check the the uh, seals in the back here we're gonna go ahead and just pull that off while we're at it and make sure those are good if not i got a seal kit so we'll re replace that so got a fun exciting hopefully not all day i don't want to spend all day on it i got a lot of other stuff i need to do today so but hopefully we'll uh we'll get some of this stuff taken care of this morning um so gonna be kind of boring I, which I, I say that we'll just start taking stuff apart Hot. Chris and I, neither one could figure out how to get that down. That pin coming out of the back of the swing 90, it, it lock, locked up on you. Usually it just drops right out when you wiggle the swing 90. But I don't know if the paint on it or what, but it's got it in a, in a bind. We, we couldn't even turn it with a, top, a pipe wrench. But it's out. Out of the way. Yeah, it's out of the way. It's doesn't. I, I like to get the swing 90 out of the way and, and just give me some elbow room, but we've worked around it before and we'll work around it again pretty happy with the how the seals look we're gonna go ahead and replace them since we got it out but the chrome ring looks really good it's not scarred at all doesn't have any grooving or anything so we're gonna leave it alone we'll just put new seals in this and clean this out and re-grease it what we've done now we took this little splash plate off I got had had two grease lines that go on the back of this. I don't know what you call that thing. Uh, I know these are plunger cylinders. I don't know what what you call that thing back there. But anyway, got the grease lines off of it. Just we just now got the the big nut <laughs> diggity off the back of the the S tube. So now we're gonna slide the S tube forward and get it ready to accept new. Uh, pressure spring and cutting cutting ring so that's where we're at now crank a one on that we tapped on his hand but i think it's just sliding a little bit you okay? yeah just can you get us that's me oh, 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 oh. just leave Let's see 
what that does. I just need enough room to get that other plate. Now, let me see your screwdriver. Or that black, uh, it's over here, I think. Or that black little pry bar. I had one of those two. all these get this cleaned out get it ready for new seals We grease these when we put them in and look there's still there's grease in there and that helps keep the grout out also so i know this did its job keeps so there'll be grease in there not grout it's all grease that's awesome. There's, there's nothing wrong with that brass one. I'd put it. I'd put it back in the heartbeat. Yeah, these the, these two here face the opposite way of this one. Yeah. It actually, looks like this. One on one side facing that way. One these two, side. these two face coming out because that's where. Oh, it's greasy. 
with that, and that's where most of your pressure for grout is going to be coming back that way too. So this is just more or less just keeping the hop the hopper residual pressure of the hopper from coming inside of there. So it just needs one. I, I guess an O-ring is a backup. I'm not yeah. sure. More of a seal. So that way, if you ever have to do this, we're not around. We one that's not around. It's still, yeah. All right, pump, bend over. <laughs> yeah. Not gutting a deer. All right, that's back together. So now, let's uh, go around the house and get, go get the pressure spring and the cutting ring and get it put on. Well, we have, I went and got the pressure spring in the cutting ring, and of course, I turned y'all off, and I never turned y'all back on, but of course, we've got the, the back, I don't know what you call this thing, sealed thing, all ready to go, pressure spring and the cutting ring is all ready to go. What we did do, went ahead and put a new uh, cutting plate back here and it's kind of nasty it's where all the grease and stuff goes from the from lubricating all this stuff but the bolts are all back down through here and they're all underneath right in there so it's not terrible getting everything to get my screwdrivers out of here while i'm right here um, it's not terrible taking it off and on really but you just gotta get out here and get in the dirty dirt and a grease to get with it so but that's so wear plate that's what that is wear not cutting plate wear plate got so we put a new wear plate in all that looks good we're not touching it um that'll probably be the next go around which will be hopefully a year from now at least i'd like it to make the next next fall or winter make it a winter project to just take the s tube out rebuild everything and call it good but so what is that stuff just diesel oh um we're fixing to try to work this thing back on to the s tube and then we'll suck it up on there and Hopefully we can push it all back together. The S the S tube is gonna have to slide back up in another, I don't know, two inches probably. But about the distance we got we made ourselves up. So I'll just set y'all over here. Oh, 
we lost some battery power at one time. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this on the front of the S tube. This is the cut, it's the back side you're seeing. Chris is gonna tighten the bolts in the back housing and it's gonna push this all up and hopefully the cutting ring will sit on the S tube and be tight enough that we can go around the front side or the back side and tighten all that up and then we'll capture everything that away. So how, how far are you can ready to tighten ready tighten up? All right. Let me get this thing to sit on here. Okay. It's, it's captured enough, and you're tight back there for sure, aren't you? Yeah, I wish I could. I'll probably hit him again with the ratchet just to be on okay, the safe side. Okay, just check sure. that. But it's, it's close enough now that we, we can go back on the back side of the bolt and the nut, the big nut. Diggity. And, uh... Tighten everything back here. It's nasty back here, folks. <laughs> it's nasty. Breezy. Uh, we're going to tighten on this stuff back here.